This is a really old Bryant central air conditioner that I just got permission to film. And I just figured out it was a Bryant like not even a minute ago. This air conditioner is located at a house in Frito's neighborhood. And I have been walking by it for a couple years now, but I haven't until now been able to get really close to it. And I happened to be driving by on my way to Frito's house. The owner was outside. I talked to him. Um, he's like, yeah, you can make a video of it. So, yeah, the, I'm finally getting to see what model this air conditioner is. It's a Bryant. I'd say based on the design, the, the uh, style of the uh, fan grill in the cabinet, that it is probably early 80s. I saw an ad for a Bryant heat pump that looked like this. And it might be from the 70s, I do not know, but... Bryant! And as far as I know, it's a straight cool unit. The house has... The house was built in like the 60s or 70s, I think. It did not originally have central air. Um, and it has oil, hot water, baseboard heat. Like just about all of the houses in this neighborhood. There's only one I've seen that has a heat pump. All the rest have uh, oil. Let's see if I can find the data sheet. This was manufactured in. Oh wait. 88? 24, 24 week in 1988. The, the first letters of the uh, serial, or the first numbers of the serial number are 2488 and the Manufacture date. The date code says 688, so it was manufactured in June of 88. I didn't know they made this style until then. So it's not as old as I thought. It's only uh, about uh, nine months uh, older than I am. I was born in March of 89. This air conditioner was built in uh, June of 88, and there's a big ass spider right there. Look at that son of a bitch. Look at that son of a bitch. It's huge. I don't know what species that is. That is a big ass spider right there. That is a big ass freaking spider right there. So yeah, it's gonna be in the 90s uh, later this week. It's gonna be like 93, 94 on uh, Wednesday, hotter on Thursday. That was a big ass spider. But yeah, this is a 1988 Bryant Straight Cool Central Air Conditioner. Don't know what, what, uh, ton, ton. 42,000 BTU. It's probably extremely well insulated. These old houses in this neighborhood are built really well. And they were all built at different times. Some of them were built in the early to mid 60s. Some of them were built in the 70s, some of them were built in the 80s. Um, there's one that was just built last year on a previously unoccupied piece of land that the owner of one of the older houses uh, sold off and like subdivided or something. So yeah, the houses in this neighborhood range from like 1963 to 2011. And most of them have central air. Um, most of them have central air and hot water baseboard heat, oil fired. Some have just baseboard heat and no central air. The one that I filmed the York heat pump at like last year originally had electric baseboard heat, but they ripped all that out and put a heat pump in. But yeah, it varies in this neighborhood. I just know there's no gas. There might be propane, but I know there's no public gas. So yeah, I'm going to come by here. Hopefully this week and get a video of this thing running. And I still got the 75 York Tombstone video coming up this week too. So um, yeah, another really unique vintage uh, central air conditioner to add to the collection. And the owner did not even know if it was running. And it looks like the blades have been painted. 
and the air handler is up in the attic as you can see and again this house did not have central air and according to the owner this cost about five six grand to put in in 1988 which is about right I mean that's about how much my grandma and grandpa paid to have the uh, that Ream Classic X put in in the late 80s and their house did not originally have central air or a forced air heating system so yeah and um, all the compressor the compressor and all that stuff is in the back there are no guts like there's no line set no compressor all the guts are back here and is that a dead grasshopper yes it appears to be small one or cricket I don't know if that's a grasshopper or a cricket and let's get a close-up of the Bryant emblem there you go Bryant and I'll bet that thing was like bright red when it was new and it's just faded off from exposure to the elements Bryant high efficiency deluxe probably about a eight or nine seer Maybe a 10 seer, but I doubt it. And I'm pretty sure this house has a basement. I don't know why it wouldn't. Doubt it's finished, but I'll bet this house has a basement. So yeah, that is definitely something you don't see every day. It looks a lot like the um, that 81 Bryant heat pump I made a video of last year, but um, as you can see, it has a different a different um, fan grill. The, uh, the the 81 had that stamped louvered fan grill. This one has more of a industrial looking one, like you'd see on a Scotsman ice maker thing, like that thing back at the nursing home. So yeah, this is a 1988 Bryant three and a half ton straight cool central air conditioner that still works and hopefully I'll get a video of it very soon. Like running. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.